<laughs> Today we're hiking, we're having some coffee and um, it's uh, today's hike is uh, real uh, special of course I've only done this hike once before and uh, this is Nuvada do Fuledal Sinaku I think that's how you say it So this is one of those epic levadas or hikes. Um, as you guys can see, it's it's a pretty big levada, pretty wide levada. And uh, yeah, today we are hiking 17 kilometers. So uh, should be a nice, uh, challenging hike. And uh, we've been building up to it. We've actually been hiking quite a lot. And today uh, I wanted to give you a little bit of an update on uh, what's going on with the company, uh, with our relaunch and things like that. But stay tuned, that's coming later. First, I wanna show you a little bit of this uh, beautiful Levada. supposed to do this walk earlier in the week uh, just that we got up here and it was really bad weather so we decided to move on to plan B um, which was Fajá de Rodríguez or Levada da Ama Levada de Fajá da Ama de Rodríguez <laughs> there's like three different names for that walk it's a really pretty walk though and uh, we've actually been doing loads of hiking lately uh, since we've been allowed out as I'm sure you can understand we all really miss our jobs section on our site which is called Tours for Madeirans in English in Portuguese it's a little bit uh, sweeter sounding Passage para Madeirenses and it's all geared for the local or someone who has been to Madeira many many times um, so they're even more adventurous um, and even more off the beaten path so um, if you want to check out the video then there's a more in-depth about all of our uh, reconnaissance that we did for the new tours. Check out this view, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Got a nice big view of San Vicente down at the bottom. Wow. Um, but I thought I'd let you know here real quick what these tours are. So um, the first tour is a new west tour uh, where we go deeper in to the, the west side. Uh, and we go to these places that uh, we don't usually go to and one of them is the Ginger's Road or Ginger's Road um, which is a pretty extreme uh, off-road 
uh, extreme-ish off-road, um, which is actually going to be repaved by the government uh, in the next couple of years. So I thought it would be cool to get an opportunity to do this tour while it was still kind of an off-road experience before the government comes in and ties it all up. So that's uh, the first new tour. The second tour is a half-day sunset to a place called Trompica, which is a really crazy place as well in the central part of the island. The third tour is the sunrise at Pico Joivo. Now we already do sunrise tours, we already do sunrise hikes, but we never actually offered the sunrise at the actual highest, highest peak of the island. So I've decided to bring that in as well. And the fourth tour uh, is another epic hike um, between north and south of the island from Nuns Valley to Boaventura, actually the other way around. Um, great hike. So these four new tours, tours for Moderns, they're coming out. And um, I think they're gonna be great uh, for those adventurous people. And obviously for people who know Madeira already well enough, um, who has already done the, the normal tours. So uh, that's the first bit of news. Hugo, huh? how are we doing? Yeah, well, my head's there. <laughs> yeah. oh. Breathe, breathe. We're doing these steps up. It's uh. Takes it out of you a little bit. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Should be a good reward though. The first time I did this trail, I was actually looking for this spot. I saw a photo online of this crazy little corridor thing in the middle of the mountains with a panoramic view. And uh, that was when I made the decision to come out to do this hike a couple of years ago, right like four or five years ago now. And we've been looking for an excuse to do this for a long time, me and Lisa. Lisa, is this your second time? It's her second time, my second time as well, their first time. Um, and this is just such a crazy, crazy view. And we're actually doing this hike as a preparation for our next big hike, which I've never done, which Lisa's done once, which will be the next video. So stay tuned for that. And uh, let me show you some more views before uh, letting you know about one of the biggest changes at Hit The Road Tours in 2020.
so I'm going to end the video off over here just because this walk is so beautiful I want to take advantage of the rest of the hike um, to enjoy the views and the sounds and, and being in the forest um, but before I ended off the video I wanted to let you know about probably the biggest change at Hit The Road Tours in 2020 is that we are now exclusively a private tour company um, the reason for this is mainly uh, due to the coronavirus restrictions that we're having um, we've got certain limits on our capacity in our vehicles and it's going to be very difficult for us to turn a profit doing shared tours uh, and of course as much as we love our jobs uh, for us to run a successful tour company we do need profit so what I've decided to do is um, is to bring down uh, the quotas for the uh, private tours um, I don't know if that's right but basically what we're going to do is we're going to be charging uh, for the amount of people in the car so if there's only two people that want to go on a private tour then they will pay for only two people and still get a private tour um, and this is obviously because we think that uh, travel will change uh, post uh, COVID and um, I think that people will want to actually stay private uh, and not go too many on too many tours with strangers as fun as they they can be so uh, for new for more information check out our website of course you can find all of that information on our website <clears throat> and um, I'll see you guys in the next video we're planning on making loads of videos now that we that it's still reasonably quiet here in Madeira like I said we've done so many hikes in the last couple of weeks um, I'll keep you guys updated on all of that. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.